Please bear with me. I'm feeling a little under the weather still, but let's do this. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a really fun video for you guys today that I've been planning to do for the past few months now, and I'm finally getting around to putting it up. Today I have a how-to video for you guys on how to relax. I think it's really important to take time for yourself to keep yourself happy and healthy, and that's one of my New Year's resolutions for this year is to take the time to focus on myself, whether it's during the week, when I have spare time, at the end of the week, on the weekends, or something like that. Um, it's just really important important to take that time for yourself even if it's just for a small amount of time but I have 10 tips for you guys that I use to kind of focus on myself throughout the week because I know we're always busy with school work extracurriculars we're just always on the go and I think it's really nice to do some of these things to take time for yourself so I hope you enjoy this video and let's just get into it so tip number one take a bath I am obsessed with Lush bath bombs. I'm sure you guys know what that is, obviously, but there's also other kinds of bath bombs. But taking a bath is honestly one of the most rewarding things to do after a long day at school or work. Even if you have nothing to do for a day, get in the bathtub, girlfriend. Taking a bath is so bomb. Bath bomb. Okay, sorry. What I like to do is I'll light a candle, I'll throw a bath bomb in or some bubble bath or something as well and then I'll also put in some coconut oil sometimes and I love putting in the coconut oil because when you get out of the bath your skin's all soft and smooth and then I also like to sometimes eat my lunch I decided to eat my salad in the bathtub which was kind of weird but I kind of liked it for some reason and then I just tossed on a YouTube video so I just sat there for a while and then when I got out my skin was all soft it was so nice to sit there and just you know hang out with yourself <laughs> Tip number two, let me tell you, girl, it is okay to Netflix and chill with yourself. There is no rule that says that you cannot do that alone. What I like to do is I like to just put my computer on and put it, my laptop in my bed with me, and you know, that is you and Bae right there, okay? Enough said. One of my favorite movies to watch on Netflix that I highly, highly, highly recommend you to watch is Stuck in Love. It has Nat Wolf and Lily Collins in it. I have watched that movie so many times. I can recite it in my sleep. I can listen to it and know exactly what is going on. I just go watch it after this. Tip number three, exercising is really important even if it's just for a few minutes a day. I like to go to the gym throughout the week or to yoga or to the sauna. But if you don't have that much time to exercise throughout the day, I highly recommend you to check out Blogilates here on YouTube. She is amazing. Cassie is seriously the best. Mm -mm. But she has a lot of videos that you can do at home and they're only like five minute workouts or so So you can definitely check those out and those make me feel so much better after a long day of like working or something So you should definitely check it out number four kind of like exercising But going for a walk or a run just in your neighborhood or at a park or at the beach or something is really really relaxing to do I know sometimes you don't have time to do stuff like that But even if you just take ten minutes of your day when the sun is setting at like 5.30 or something, go outside for a walk. It's so gorgeous and you would not regret it. Oh. Tip number five, take a nap. It is okay to nap during the day. Some of us, I know I'm sure with school and work and stuff, we don't get as much sleep as we would like. So it is okay to take a nap during the day, okay? And hopefully you wake up and you feel good as new. There is nothing that says that you are not allowed to take a nap. Even the little kids do it. So can we. Number six. I know I keep talking about exercising, but seriously, just taking time to relax your body and focus on your body is one of the best ways to relax and to relieve stress. Going to a yoga class or doing yoga at home or doing some stretches or something really helps me. I like to just roll out my yoga mat and take some time to just stretch and listen to calming music. I also do the blog a lot of these videos because she has some stretching and meditation videos that I like a lot. I will leave those all linked in the bottom just in case you want to check them out. But doing those for part of my day, if it's before I go to sleep or when I wake up or something, I definitely recommend it. It just kind of keeps your mind at peace for a little bit. It really just kind of helps you live in the moment. Number seven, I am obsessed with using my planner. I just got this planner at Target and I bought some colored pens off of Amazon or something. And I just like to plan out my entire week. Whether I do it at the beginning of the week, on Sunday when this week's about to start, I like to take the time to go through and highlight things I've already done and make my to-do lists. It makes the week a lot easier to get through if I can have it all written down and visual on a piece of paper. So using a journal or using a planner definitely keeps me relaxed and organized throughout the entire week. Number eight, 
I don't know about you, but I cannot function if my room is messy. Before, I used to not be like that, which is so weird because my mom would like always yell at me about not having everything in place or whatever, but now I understand why she did it. Like, if I come home after a hard day at school or work, I cannot function if there's clothes everywhere or if there's things all over my counter or if my makeup's still out. So I have to take like 20 minutes of my day, which is not even that much time, but I just need to take that time to clean everything and put everything away. So when I come home at the end of the day, there is nothing in my room and out of place because it is just spotless since I took that 20 minutes to clean up. When you come home to a clean and organized space, it'll definitely help you relax more right when you get home. Number nine, drink tea. Drinking tea is a really good stress reliever and it also helps you relax your body and your mind. Drinking any sort of hot tea is probably one of the best things you can do to just relax your mind and your body. I like to drink green tea right when I wake up in the morning and sometimes I'll also have another one in the middle of the day and then at night I like to drink uh, non-caffeinated tea or a sleepy time tea that you can just get at Target or something but just drinking a hot tea and sometimes if you add lemon or something it'll definitely relax your mind and just puts you kind of at ease and I think that's really great to do just to keep your body and your mind happy and last but not least number 10 do nothing I know we all have busy hectic schedules with long to-do lists and there's always that time that you need to take for yourself just to do absolutely nothing you can do that just by laying in your bed and just laying there. No electronics, no homework, nothing to distract you. And just you laying down, taking the time for yourself to just let your body relax and rejuvenate is really important to do. We don't really think about doing this kind of stuff ahead of time. It's not something that you can plan, but if you get the downtime to do so, it's really important to take that time for yourself. There's nothing wrong with doing nothing. I hope those 10 tips helped you guys out a little bit on how to relax. I use all of these tips throughout the entire week. If you have any recommendations of videos you would like to see me make, go ahead and put them right down in the comments below, or you can tweet me at XOAlwaysBella. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope these tips helped, and I hope you have a very relaxed 2016, because you deserve it. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, love you, latte. Mas é um navio.